Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I'm back today with a new update. Um, really, really exciting. It, I'm actually a day late because I, I don't want to make any excuses, but yesterday it was, it was really bad. All right. I, I had like food poisoning and I was just basically sick the entire day. Like I was just vomiting, having like horrible stomach aches, but um, the good thing is it only lasted a day. So I'm like completely 100% okay now. So if you're, if anyone's concerned for my health or concerned for uh, my my future, all my future MSL videos, I'm I'm perfectly healthy now. So that's 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 pretty good. Um, I think the most interesting thing about this new update is actually the synergy system. Now, when I first saw it, I I was basically like before the update, I was calling it. I was like, please don't add like any um, any more seconds onto my farm time. But I actually I think I can let this one go because. First of all, the animation looks really nice, like it looks really cool. And second of all, it actually made my Golem Speed 10 team a lot more stable or a lot more reliable than it is. Um, originally my Golem Speed 10 team, this this one that I'm using, it had about a, I think like a 99% chance, like basically, I think it's like 99.5 or something like that. Basically like, I would have to do like 200 runs and then I would get like one fail basically. Uh, but ever since the new update like it's been perfect it's been a hundred percent perfect like i've i've done hundreds of runs and it has not failed once so i'm i'm pretty happy with this like it's it's really really cool um so basically there's a there's a few um synergies and i'm going to be going through the the list for the the synergies or the the possible amount of synergy or the possible types of synergies that you can get in the game um if you haven't checked this out, this looks super, super cool, by the way. So there's there's a few synergies that you can use um, based on the um, the elements of the Astromon, the types of the Astromon, the gender of the Astromon, and the uh, the evolution form of the Astromon, as well as a few hidden synergies that are um, only that kind of like basically based on the theme of the Astromon um, that that activate. So for for this team, a few synerg I, I got a few synergies. Um, one from the using like all all evil three astromons. I basically I was able to get um, eight percent defense, and then using all all light elements, I was able to get five percent HP, and then um, I think using the same type of astromon, I was able to get uh, five percent attack, something like that. It was called like the concentrated attack or something like that. And um, a lot of these basically need at least three Astromons of the same, of, uh, basically you need three Astromons to, to kind of proc the, the synergy or something like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I have a list uh, from someone from Reddit um, called Smith Jez, and he's, he's the, he's the guy that data mines all the stuff that's posted on Reddit. And he actually made a list. I'll, I'll include this in the link below of all the t possible types of synergies. I think if I open this, um, this is Smith Jez, and this is the um, this is a synergy list. Now I'll put this on like times 20 replay at the, on, the, on the back while we take a look at this. So uh, the first one is um, firepower. Basically you have to be, be all, uh, three Astromons have to be fire, or, and then there's like wood power, uh, water power, wood power, light power, and dark power. Basically, this gives 5% if you use three Astromons of the same element. And um, there's also the the brotherhood and sisterhood based on the gender of the Astromon. Now, I don't think um, like beast-like or like mechanical-like Astromon proc this because the Raddus team wasn't able to proc this. Like, they technically, they have no gender. They're like, they're like golems, you know, they, they, they're genderless. Um, so they're not able to proc this, but I guess it's fine because I, I actually got the bonus defense from from using the same um, evolution of the Astromon. So there, there's a few there's a few things that you can you can get from this, um, and then there's also healthy tanks, which basically gives you seven percent of um, if you have three tank type Astromons, and then there's also the concentrated attack if you use three three attack type astromons. So it's not three of the same astromons, three three of the same type astromons, which I guess is a little bit easier to proc. Um, and then ironclad defense, which gives you bonus defense. I would have liked it a lot more if there were, if there were more, um, whatchamacallit, like if there were more attack, 
like bonus attacks that I could stack, it would be really, really amazing because that would actually speed my farm time up a lot. But I guess it's fine because um, some of these like defensive, defensive um, synergies actually help me make my team a lot more stable in dungeons as well. So can't really complain too much about that. It's just you know I'm I'm just I'm just wishing. All right, I'm just wishing at this point. Um, there's also healing touch, which basically. If you use three re recovery type astromons, it gives you 5% extra HP. Um, resist for balance type astromons. Ooh, actually, this is pretty strong. We could actually... Uh... Wait, do synergies proc in PvP? I haven't, I haven't really tested. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll test this very soon after we go through the list. Um, there's also the, the evolution. So if you use like an evil 2, you get 5% defense if you use all evil three or not all evil three but if you have three evil threes um you're able to get eight percent defense now some of these other synergies are hidden um basically it's based on like the theme of the astromon or kind of like the appearance or the design of the astromon so this is warrior strength it's basically like you know like fighter like astromons like poseidon siegfried wukong indra shiva thor leo um Mino and and tigers they're like the you know the big burly muscular dudes like they they get five percent extra attack in dungeons uh oh wait these are these only work in dungeons never mind they don't work in pvp um so i guess mostly mostly like attack defense and and uh hp actually crit damage could also be very very good in dungeons as well so i, I think this is mostly for like b10 farming um I don't think they have them for Colossus yet. I'm not sure if they work in Dragons. We'll find out very, very soon. If they do actually work in Dragons, we can actually maybe try to set up a Synergy team um, for, for Dragons, like B10 or something like that. That actually might be pretty cool. So there's also, uh, this is this is Feral Hal. So these are like beast-like Astromons. The Mammoth, Wendigo, Tai, Mera, Pen Pen. Wait, Pen Pen's a beast? Wolf and Spark it. Uh, so basically they get extra crit damage in dungeons. And you only have to have two of these. So it's actually a lot easier to proc this. Um, there's also High Tide. So these are like, you know, sea type astromons like Poseidon, Shelly, Siren, Beth, July. So like all the fishes and stuff. Um, and oh yeah, Mona also gets this. Oh, this is actually quite strong. Ooh, if Mona gets 5%. Yeah, I think Mona stacking has just become super OP because you can use, you can stack this with uh, with this with concentrated attack, and then it will it will it'll be pretty strong. It'll make your farming a lot a lot better. Um, so I guess that's 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 pretty good. Let's see if there's any other ones that proc with a Mona or something like that. Animal protection. Lat Monkiki. So these are like the little little animals, like the, the squirrels and stuff. The Rudolph also gets this, um, five percent defense. So it's, it's not too bad. Um, you need three to proc this. Night crawlers. So these are like the the ghost, you know, the spooky type astromons, the vampire, the ghost, the nephas, the banshees, jackal jackalittles, um, cosmos, nightmares. Oh, nightmares also get this. Succubus, incubus, and killabat. Crit damage. Um, I think this will be very very good for incubus because like especially like the wood incubus if you're using it for farming eight percent uh, extra crit damage is, is actually quite strong um ooh, what mage is killed the five percent attack if you use three so you get like this on persephone medusa loki incubus chloe sanzang verde omnioji so these are like the mages and stuff um astromons that look like casters or mages you get five percent extra um, attack in dungeons so yeah I guess this is pretty good I mean again you can stack wait you can stack these two with incubus oh dude if you had three wood incubus you could get you get 5% attack from this 5% attack from this and then 8% crit damage from this that's actually quite strong um, alright that, that actually looks pretty cool there's Snowy Village, so these are like the snow-like Astromons, the Yukis, the Snowies, the Yetis, the Wendigos, Pen Pens. Uh, anything that you would find in Glacial Plains, mostly, plus the Yuki, plus uh, plus the Rudolph. Uh, so these are like the snow-like Astromons, and they get 5% crit rate. Wait, 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 let's see if there's something we can do with this. Ooh, wait, wait, Mammoths, Mammoths. 
Um, I think the Mammoths can really, really benefit from this because, or the Rudolphs. The Rudolphs can also benefit from this because I think, um, I mentioned in the last video, like the Wood Rudolph is actually like a, basically like a weaker version of the Wood Incubus, but you can actually use this to kind of push 5% extra crit that you, you, you can't get from gems. So I, I mentioned that the Wood Rudolph is like actually a pretty good beginner monster that you can use for farming if you just started the game. Um, I think it's it's kind of worth getting because you can actually use it to clear a lot of content, um, especially like like wood content or 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 uh, actually yeah just mostly like wood content because like water monas aren't able to farm those so you can actually use the the, the Rudolphs and they get like a 50% morale boost so it's actually quite quite good for farming. Um, plus they they have predator on second skill so you can actually use them to like you don't have to have crit rate on them. But I was thinking, like, you know, since you have 5% extra crit, if you happen to have, like, a few Siphon Gems, if you're at the point where you're progressing into, like, Dragon's B4 or something, you have a few Siphon Gems, you can actually put, um, try to push, like, 100% with a crit lead on your Rudolph, even if your Siphon, other two Siphon Gems aren't too good. So, like, if you have, like, just one, one six-star Siphon Gem, and then you put in, like, two attack Siphon Gems, if you can get, like, two rolls into crit on those two gems, plus a crit lead, of like, uh, you know, maybe like 20%, well, 20% is the highest, but like 15, we'll, we'll say it's 15, it's like the lowest, it's like 15. And then you, you go with, uh, you go with the, like three Rudolphs, you can get a uh, 5% crit rate, which basically gives you 20 plus, uh, plus the base 64, which is like 84. So you only need like 16% crit. Or if you have like a higher roll in crit lead, like at least 16%, you basically you just need two rolls into crit, and you can you can get like 100% crit. So that's actually pretty good. Um, this one's furry friends. So these are all like the, all the all the uh, half animals basically. So um, Anu, <laughs> furry friends. Um, Anu tigers, wild things. Um, Minos, Mihos, Yetis, Gatitos, D'Artagnan, Wendigos, Wukong. Um, Five percent attack is. Let's see. Let's see who probably benefits the most. Hmm. I, I don't actually see that much synergy. That that that's actually too practical with this one in the game, because there's not a lot that you can stack, unless you're. Uh, yeah, because. Like, these are not very good for farming. Um, Wendigo, not too good either. Wukong, I guess, I guess this is alright. Like, it's, it, there's no real, um, practical use of this synergy, I don't think. I can't think of one. But I think, uh, I think if you happen to have some of these monsters, like, you're, you happen to be using a Wukong, you're using a Wild Fang and an Anu, then I guess 5% extra bonus is, is just, it's, it's a bonus, basically. Um... Spectral Force, Pixies, Truffles, Mini Cat, Bell Pups, Potines. I don't even know what. Spectral Force. So these are like, I guess like cosmetic or, or cos, co, not cosmetic, cos, cos, like, what's the word? What's the what's the adjective for like Cosmo, like, cos cosmotic, uh, like, Astrons maybe something like that. I don't know. It's it's like all the all the uh, all the astromons are like um, fairy like or something like that. I think fairy or star like. No way. They don't have the cosmos. They have the Gemini's. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I kind of don't understand. It's like I don't understand the relation between these monsters. That's that's what I'm trying to put together. Like, what do these monsters have in relation to each other with their theme? I don't see any relation. I maybe someone can point that out, but um, but Jins actually get this. Like if you stack three Jins, wait. If you stack three Jins, five percent attack, and then you can get it get a five percent attack from using three Jins because you're using three of the same type, same or using three attackers. Um, so I guess that's pretty cool. Overgrown bushes. So all, these are all the tree ones. Um, Rowan, Mushi, Seedler, Hana. Coco. Ooh, Moonflowers get this as well. If you're like one of the lucky people that have like three Dark Moonflowers, this would be insane. 
This would be so sick. Um, oh wait, actually... Ooh, stacking light jacks actually would be super OP. Look at this. I can get 8% attack from this, 5% from this, and then 6% from this, and then another 5% from, from, uh, from, from this as well. So I can get, like, I can basically get 16% extra attack and 8% extra crit damage by stacking 3 light jacks. Actually seems pretty good. It's pretty amazing. Um, childhood friends, 8% HP in dungeons. This is actually super strong, because I um, I farm like certain floors of dragons with like three dark mihos. 8% extra HP would be insane. Like this is super OP. Um, same with birdies. Like if you're using like the birdie miho comp, like the dark birdie plus dark miho, this is super strong too. Stacking like Cocos could be pretty good as well, because if you have happen to have a few like Cocos from before, um, they are they are HP aggressors, so this is actually pretty good. It's just the lat, like he's the odd one out. He's not an he's he's the only one that's not an HP aggressor here, so he's he's kind of he's kind of gimped. Well, not he's not gimped. He's just he just doesn't benefit that much from this. Um, this one is Iron Fist. So these are like all the people that basically like punch you in the face. They don't they don't use weapons. Um, they get 5% attack, so this is the Yaksha, the Suras, the Garuda, Leo. Actually, wait, Leo's use a sword. Leo has a sword. He has. He actually has a sword when he does his AoE. Um, Anu, Monkiki, and Mushi. So, let, let's see what we can do here. Um, I, I don't see much practical use in this synergy. Unless you're, like, maybe uh, using the Yaksha and Sura. Because this is, like, a... Two synergy, so you can maybe if you're using like the Yaksh the Wood Yaksha or the Water Sura for like dragons. I actually don't know if this works in dragons, but you might be able to to use this and then just get like a five percent bonus attack. So that's it's actually not too bad. Um, yeah, I was actually I, I was I was so into this that I I forgot to uh, keep going with my dungeon, but that is that is pretty much it. That's that's pretty much it for all the. Uh, all the different types of um, bonuses that you can get from from this. It actually did add a few seconds onto my runtime, but I don't mind because it actually made my team like 100% stable. So this is actually quite good. So it looks like the synergy only works in dungeons, um, which is, I guess it's it's all right. It's not it's not too bad. Um, mostly for 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 golems, um, I think. I think, I think the most useful synergy is like the Mona one, because you can stack multiple Monas, get bonus crit damage and bonus attack. Um, well, not bonus crit damage, you, you get bonus attack. Um, but yeah, you basically you can get 5% bonus attack, and then you can get also get another 5% bonus attack um, from from the, uh, the, what's it called? The, the, the concentrated attack. And then you're using like if you have three evil three monas, then you can get like eight percent defense uh, from from the um, from the evil evil power level two, and then um, I think it should it probably should proc sisterhood right if you have like three monas. I don't have a third water mona. I'll put in a dark mona see if it procs it. Yeah, if you have like three water monas, it'll proc sisterhood. It'll proc concentrated attack, and you also get evil power. Um, I don't have three. I, I should have like three water monsters. Like if it was three water monas instead, maybe somebody has a water mona that I can borrow. See if it procs it. It, sh it should. It should definitely proc it because um, to get to get the bonus from the uh, the sea sea monster high tide, the one that you want to proc. Uh, we'll put in a random water monster. What's it? Oh wait, sh it shouldn't it proc high tide? Oh no, high tide proc. The one that didn't proc is the uh, is the same element one, water power because I don't have three water. So like imagine if this was a th this slot was a water mona instead. It, it should proc water power. So you should be able to proc like if you're using like three water monas, you'll proc water power, sisterhood, 
uh, concentrated attack plus evil evil power level two. So just basically, like you stack like three water monas and and you'll you'll have like a really really fun time farming B8. I think I think that one's like a pretty cool one um, that you can use that a lot of players can use to help them. Um, or some of the other ones. This one I was thinking of like if you want to use like the Rudolphs to farm this, you can also do this. If you have have the Incubus plus the Rudolphs, actually wait. You need like three of the same type, so basically like it's either it's it's kind of all or nothing. Basically, you get three Rudolphs or you, you don't. But the the Jack one seems amazing though. Like if you have like, um, I would probably use this for farming Star Stones, not Golems, because Golems you need to sap it. But certain Star Stone floors, um, probably not the wood one. I think like the fire one, the the light one, and the dark one are easier to nuke. The wood one, I think, I, I think you still need to sap him. Maybe he's not. Yeah, he's a tank type. Um, I was thinking like, if it was like farming, like for example, the dark dungeon, you just you stack like an attacker. Um, well, you already you already proc everything you can proc with the with the light jack. So basically, you just get you you use any. Um, any any attacker, any anyone with an attack lead, and then you just like throw in three light jacks. Let's see if I have them out in the open. The people that have three. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, I have the two of them here. All right, so it's time to raise these these three. It's so basically like if you had if you collected like three light jacks, um, you can proc light power, which gives you this, uh, which gives you five percent HP, which isn't too important because you're gonna be doing so much damage that everything is just gonna melt instantly. But I guess a little bit of HP, a little bit of survivability will help. So you basically you get light power, you get sisterhood, um, and you get concentrated attack. This is the this is the important one, and then you get the evil power, um, level two. Wait, isn't three like Jack supposed to proc a... Uh... Oh, it has to be unique, maybe. To proc a... Uh... To proc Spectral Force. Because I was thinking, like, it should have... It should actually... It should have proc Spectral Force. Um, Nightcrawler and... And, uh... And and uh, what's the what's the last one? Oh no, just special force and nightcrawler. Oh no no, and and the the other one, um, overgrown bushes. It should have proc'd all of those, but I only see I only see three here. Or maybe it's just not listed. Or maybe there's a maximum of four. Because it should have proc'd three more. I should have had seven synergies. Wait a minute, that's that's weird. What if what if I uh, use a different jack? What if I use the dark jack? That's weird. That should have proc seven synergies there. Wait, so you can't use the same monsters? That has to be unique. All right, all right. Scratch what I said earlier. It's not gonna work. Uh, let's let's throw in a let's throw in a Steedler and a Hana to see if it procs it. If it procs the, the overgrown bushes. We'll throw in this Seedler. Um, we should actually use the evil three Seedler. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll throw in a Hana. Oh it has to be unique. What if I use two Hanas? They don't proc off each other. I see. I see. All right, that's that's kind of unfortunate. That would have been so OP. Like, the light jack would have gotten like a twenty something. Would have gotten like a a sixteen percent bonus attack and an eight percent crit damage. Like that would have been that would have been so sick. You should you would have seen like seven synergies. All right, I guess that's not gonna work. You can't you can't stack them. That's that's unfortunate. Um. Oh, you can you can stack special force with uh, 
You can stack the Gen 1. So you can do something like this. If you have a variant Gen, you can do something like this. None of the Pixies, Truffles, Mini Cats, Bell Pups, Cotines. I guess Sparkler is an attacker. He's like the only one that you can use. He's thinking of proccing, uh. Wait, what? I'm using a. I'm using a. Jack, a Jin, and a Sparkler. Oh, not Spark Kit. Oh, it's a Sparkler. It's, uh, my bad, my bad. Um. Yeah, there's nothing to use, like, there's only Gemini. We need them to release the Nifa. The Nifa's the other good attacker. Like, the Nifa can proc that. That would be that would be actually pretty amazing. So you have to you can't use the same type, right? Hmm, that's 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 kinda unfortunate. Can't use the same monster to proc it. Uh, all right. I I don't think this is gonna work. I mean, you can put in a Gemini to heal, but that's like basically it. It's Pixie Truffle, Mini Cat Bell Pup. All right, this is not a good synergy. The other the other ones don't don't give any sort of attack. So you have to use unique ones. This is a this is a little bit harder. Um. Yeah, the hidden ones are actually pretty hard to proc. I got a little bit ahead of myself. I was thinking I could I could have like seven synergies up at a time. That, that would have been sick. All right, that's my my plan failed. It didn't work. But the the one with the Miho and the um, the one with the Miho, the Birdie, and Coco is actually really good. Because I can do something like this, and go like um, Dark Cupid lead with like eight, you know he's an aggressor, he has HP as well. Dark Cupid super OP. Don't just, don't blame me for using him. All right, put in the Coco, put in a Miho, and then uh, where's my birdie? Wait, I didn't raise my birdie yet. Oh yeah, I didn't raise my birdie yet. Never mind. Um, but I eventually will raise this guy. So basically, I get Dark Power for more HP, Healthy Tanks with 3 tanks, 7% more HP, and then Evil Power with Defense, so I guess a little bit of Defense is good for HP Aggressors, and then Proc Childhood Friends for another 8%. <laughs> like, the, the HP stacking, look at this. This will be super good for like, autoing uh, um, a certain like, Dragon Dungeon or, or something like that, but the, the Coco needs to be a little bit tankier because he's he's gonna be taking a lot of damage So maybe he's gonna die first or something like that but I can put these both on crit double attack or double HP and then I'll put him on triple HP and Then yeah, the Cupid's also on triple HP as well because the shield needs needs him to have high HP and Then this will like look at the amount of HP stacking. It's got 5% 7% and another 8% another here This is super strong um for HP aggressors. This one's this one's quite good. This one's pretty good. Um, the crit one's not gonna work now. Unless you're using a, a Rudolph Snowy Village. That one's hard to proc now. You have to ha all, happen to have all these monsters from previous events as well to, to be able to, to do it. Um, I feel like High Tide is actually usable because if you have a Shelly, a Siren, um, Mona, and then like another. Ooh, wait, Water Sea Star actually might be viable because you can, you can proc High Tide and get five percent extra attack, and you get the Water Bonus. But she's a lot harder to get. Because she, she's only summonable and there's no, um, sea stars aren't farmable. But, but basically, sea stars are like water mihos. They, they kind of have the same stats. I think. Oh wait, miho has, I think has better stats. I'm not too sure. I'll take a look first. Because high tide wants, needs you to use three of the, like, the water or the sea, like, astromons. 
Um, you know, obviously if you have Poseidon, that's really good, but I don't think any new player is going to have Poseidon. So, um, so you're kind of kind of left with the using a Siren, um, a Mona, and then a. Uh, And then maybe a sea star maybe like an evil two sea star would be good so all you need is like a water sea star and then get that sea star to evil two and you can proc multiple uh multiple things from that so we'll we'll pretend we'll pretend a certain mo like we'll, we'll pretend a shelly is a sea star or something like that like say for example you're you're a new player getting into b8 for like the very first time so you can do something like uh water siren lead and then you go in with the water Mona. Actually, you go in with two water Monas because you need them to nuke, anyways. This this second water Mona can be any water nuker. It can be. Um, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a water Mona. Actually, it doesn't even need to be water. It can be any nuker. But since this is a fire dungeon, you you, te you typically want to use a, a water nuker. And then the last slot, like you can throw in a sea star. But since I don't have a sea star, we'll use a. Uh, what's a what's a water monster? That I have. Uh, Hermite. Oh, we'll pretend this is a sea star, alright? So basically, you'll be able to proc all these. You'll be able to proc uh, Water Power, um, Sisterhood, and uh, Evil Power Level 2. And I think the sea star is an attacker. So you'll be able to proc one more after this. You'll be able to proc the Concentrated Attack for 5% extra attack as well. So basically, you'll get 5 synergies if you. If you run a team like this for, which will make your, um, which would make, which, which would make your B8 run a lot easier. Yeah, I don't think anyone has a water sea star. Who else can you use? I mean, Shelly could also work as well. Like if you're planning to use a, if you're planning to use a Shelly for, um, Planning to use a Shelly for, um, for, for Colossus or, or not Colossus, um, Titans or something in the future. You could use that, but no, nothing else is really good. Like Crowhook, Mari. Uh, oh wait, you could have, you could do it if you had a Mari. But you need an attacker, so you need a water attacker. So maybe a water Shelly in this slot could also work. For the defense down, you'll be able to proc a lot of. You'll be able, basically be able to proc five at the same time. Let, let me just check if the C starts an attacker because she actually, she actually might be viable now. Just to just to get the extra synergy. Because like although the water Miho gets skill books, if you use the C star, you basically you get five percent for everybody and the the miho is also a balance type and not an attacker so basically you get 10 percent attack on everyone which basically would make her better yeah she's an attacker so you can proc concentrated attack just she also has higher base attack as well you go with water siren actually go mona lead siren and then like two sea stars that actually would be pretty good um, and then like eventually if you want to if you don't need a need a healer for your your uh, B8 team anymore you take out the siren and then throw in a, a Shelly because Shelly's also Shelly's got armor armor break but um, basically is just here to he's, he's just here to do a little bit more nukes and uh, although he's single target he does he has a really really high base attack so if he's hitting the golem he'll be able to kill it a lot faster he also has a hundred percent defense down. Um, which doesn't really matter because you're all, you're all using attackers and with the amount of bonus attack you're getting um, if you have like decent gems at five stars you sh should probably plus the elemental advantage you should probably be one shotting everything in, in BA anyways so I think that synergy is actually quite good as well um, I think warrior strength actually could be procced need Poseidon Siegfried Wukong Indra uh, Shiva, Thor, Leo, Miho, and Tiger. But you need three, so that's actually a little bit harder. Yeah, I don't think that one's procable. That, one, that one's too hard. Uh, Feral Hal, no. 
the the nightcrawler one should should actually be procable because it has like a lot of attackers um vampire ghost nifa banshee well banshee yeah banshee's also an attacker so you can go like banshee jack like wood banshee light jack wood uh wood incubus and then you just go with like two wood incubus so i was thinking like um but then yeah then you don't have an attack lead uh, that's not gonna work what what has a wood attack lead wood attacker with an attack lead uh Cosmos have no light and dark counterpart. That one's not too easy. Maybe you have to go with an attack lead. Cause let me let me grab my banshee from my storage so you can like actually see it proc. Oh, what if you use a, use an Anu? Yeah, you can you can use an Anu for the crit lead. Wait, is the banshee in my storage? No, I think banshee's not in my storage. She's somewhere, somewhere in my box. Let's uh, let's go into a dungeon and see if I can put something up. So I was thinking, uh, go with like a crit lead, because you need a wood astromon. You could also use a wood, any wood astromon with attack lead, but there's only a few wood astromons that have attack lead, um, and they also need to be attackers as well. So that's that's actually a little bit hard. Uh, so basically, the the team is something like this. It's like uh, where is it? Oh, light Jack. Oh wait, I don't have a wood incubus. Never mind. It's, I can't I can't show this. But basically, uh, where's my banshee? Basically, you go with this, and then once you throw in the wood incubus, you're gonna be able to proc. Um, you're gonna be able to get night crawlers. Plus the the wood one, the wood bonus, which basically gives you five um, five percent attack, five percent of uh, five percent uh, HP in uh, in dungeons. But you're using two male, two female. It's not, it's not too good. All right, we need a we need a female astromon with uh, with attack lead, and also wood. Well, actually, it's only a defense per defense six percent. It's not that important. It doesn't even need to be wood because the the uh, the wood lead only gives you HP. So I guess that's not that's not too useful. All right, never mind. Scratch that. That's that's not gonna work. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't think there's anything else. There, there's a few really good ones like the Childhood Friends is super OP. Like Childhood Friends plus the Plus the extra HP for dark, plus the uh, plus the extra HP for using all tanks, is uh, is is really sick. Um, and then go with an HP lead. But actually, to make that work, you need dark cupid. So yeah, that's not gonna work. Or use an HP monster. Use a tank monster. Actually, wait, you don't need to use a tank monster because your other three are already tanks, right? So actually, you don't need Dark Cupid. You can just throw it. Use Dark Birdie because Dark Birdie has a has an HP lead as well. And then for the fourth, you just use another like use a second Dark Birdie or a second Dark Miho. That also works. Wait, let me let me see if that works. So much so much theory crafting here. The tr so the the trick is uh, you go with Dark Birdie. Where is he? Where's my dark birdie? All right, you going with this? It's going with two dark mihos. Or you can use a super evolved one. And then light Coco. So you proc dark power for using three dark monsters. Proc healthy tanks for using three tanks. You proc uh, evil two power, which gives you 8% defense, which makes them have higher effective HP, and you still proc childhood friends for the extra 8% HP. 
Like this is this this synergy is super OP with aggressors. Like this is this is insane. Um actually it would be super fun if these these things worked for PvP. I kinda wish they did. It would it would have been super cool to make build some teams for PvP around this. But then it might make other shit too OP. Like if you like stack three dark dark uh seedlers, they get like five percent extra attack. Yeah, that's that, that's not fun. Um but anyways, that is that is pretty much it. Um, I basically I spent a long time just just like looking at all the monsters and stuff. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.